Hi guys, this is the 3k special. Honestly I am not very satisfied with this video but it took me too long to edit to not put it up so I hope you guys will still enjoy. This is happening in real life. Atsumu walks into Sakusa's school as he intended to surprise him for their anniversary. Atsumu, what are you doing here? I'm here to surprise Omi. Or do you want me to bring you to his class? Yes si thank you. Anything for Omi-kun's boyfriend. Atsumu smiled as they neared the classroom. Atsumu's face dropped and he stopped in his tracks as he turned into the classroom. Sakusa was kissing a girl at the back of the classroom and none of them had noticed him. Immediately, Atsumu turned around and walked away with tears running down his face. Matoya was confused at first but understood when he looked into the classroom. I'm sure there must be some sort of misunderstanding. Sakusa wouldn't. What's there to misunderstand? He was kissing someone. Do you even know how long it took for him to kiss me? 5 months. He's probably only know the girl in there for 3. 2 actually. You are not helping Motoya. Both of them had walked all the way to the schoolyard where they were just standing in the middle of it. I don't get it. If that girl is someone he can get comfortable with in such a short time. Why is he still dating me? Sakusa really loves you Atsumu. Even though he might not show it sometimes. He does talk about you Alet. I know that. But that doesn't mean I make him happy. I think he would be happier with that girl since he can be more comfortable with them. What what if I'm the reason he can't be with her and he ends up unhappy? Atsumu starts to cry again as Motoya tried to give him a comforting hug. All of a sudden, Atsumu was pulled out from Motoya's embrace into someone else's chest. Through his tears, he could make out Sakusa's face. What the fuck are you doing? Don't touch him. Matoya shook his head and he started walking away, waving his hand in goodbye. Atsumu hugged Sakusa as he tensed a little before placing his hands around Atsumu but by then Atsumu was already pulling away. What's wrong Atsu? And why are you crying? Come here Atsu. Sakusa pulled Atsumu into his embrace again. Atsumu hesitated for a moment before pulling away again. There's no need to push yourself Sakusa. I'll be fine. No need to fuss. I'm not pushing myself and you're not okay. Sakusa I just wanted to ask. Is there someone that's very easy for you to get comfortable around? Wait first of all why are you calling me by my actual name? And why are you asking me this? Answer me please. Yes of course. This is a stupid question. Atsumu felt his heart shatter as he tried to stop his hand from trembling. We're going out for dinner later right I have everything planned already. Sakusa pulled down his mask to smile at Atsumu before pulling it back up. Atsumu's heart shook as he unconsciously also let out a smile. Okay, pick me up tonight I have something to tell you afterwards. I'll pick you up at 6. After the date. That was fun. It's been a good 2 years with you. Atsumu felt a pang in his heart for what he was going to say next. Sakusa, you're still calling me that. Let's break up. Sakusa felt his world stop. You're joking right that's a mean joke to play on our anniversary Atsu. I'm sorry Sakusa but I think you'll be happier this way. Now you can be with her. Atsumu reach out a hand to cup Sakusa's face only for him to Sakusa to flinch away for a moment. This caused Atsumu to draw back his hand and start walking towards the door of his house. No. Atsumu it's not like that. Sakusa started to chase after him. It's fine Sakusa. No Atsu it was just a run conscious reaction I swear. Atsumu stopped at the front of his door. I guess this is good by Omi. I love you okay. Before Sakusa could say anything, Atsumu had already entered the house, closing the door behind him. If you love me why are you leaving me? Atsu, I can't understand what you're thinking. Private message. Atsu, can we please talk about this? WTF. I don't understand. Was it something I did? Atsu please give me a chance to clear things up. Oh I. This is not that time. Why is my brother crying in his room? I can hear him through the walls. Why don't you ask him? He's the one that dumped me. WTF stop lying. Atsumu would never do that. That's why I also want to know why. I'm the one that was hurt here. No 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 you don't understand. You must have done something. Atsumu treated you like you were his lifeline. Except the fact that I'm still sensitive to people touching me. I haven't done anything. But Atsu knows me. He knows that I'm trying my best. He's literally the only one I've opened up to. Hold up. I didn't text you to become your love counselor. I just wanted to know who hurt Atsumu. By helping me, you'll help Atsumu. Okay fine. Tell me what happened today. 
Sakusa tells Osamu about Atsumu crying in school and the date. That doesn't sound like Atsumu at all. I think the fact that he was crying in the first place was where it all started. Was there something you could have done and he saw it? I didn't. Wait fuck. There was this girl. From my new class. She forced a kiss onto me today. And I had to bleach my mouth afterwards. I saw Atsu after that. You don't think he? Good job. You fucked up. He probably saw it and cried. Why don't you ask the guy that he was with to confirm it? Fuck. Couldn't Atsu talk it out with me first before suddenly announcing that he wanted to break up on our anniversary? Knowing Atsumu he probably wanted to leave you with happy memories. Okay I'm going to text Motoya now. Okay. Please make up with my brother so he'll stop crying. COVID-19 and Osamu are offline. Motoya. Yes. Did you and Atsumu see anything today? Well. Should I tell you the truth or what you want to hear? The truth. I'm fixing this problem with Atsu I jaff about anything else. I don't want to see Atsumu cry anymore so I'll tell you. Back off on my man. G's fine. Matoya told him what they saw. That was just a misunderstanding. I think that one part is. But the others might be due to his lack of self-confidence in himself from over the years. A major factor is probably your germophobia. But Atsu understands. He does of course. After all he is doing this just so you can be with a girl he thinks you're more comfortable with. But deep down I can see how it affects him. He doesn't want to push you to do things you don't want to do either. He's is always thinking for me but not thinking for himself. Idiot. He should be a little more selfish. You've changed a lot. Atsumu really has helped you grow as a person. Fuck I know that and he's my world. Now I don't even know how to get him back. Have you texted him? Of course I have. I've tried calling him too. Have you tried asking Osamu to let you into the house? No okay fine. Yes go quickie. Before Atsumu does anything stupid. I don't need you to tell me that. Open the door. WTF why should I? Open it before I bust it down. I would like to see you try. Osamu hears heavy pounding at the door. Okay okay chill I'm going to open it now. Good dog. Stfu. Sakusa pushes past Osamu when he opened the door. This is happening Iral. Where's Atsu's room? Oh. I forgot that you've never been here before. Even though you guys have been dating for two years no biggie. Shut a sarcastic trap before I do it for you. Chill with the violence. Osamu brings Sakusa to Atsumu's room and leaves Sakusa standing alone in front of the door. Sakusa tries opening the door but only for it to be locked. Atsu. Please open the door. Atsumu unlocks the door quickly with his face shocked. Omi Sakusa. You're in my house. Why? You idiot. Atsumu reaches forward to bring Sakusa into a hug. Atsumu tried to escape from the embrace again but Sakusa did not let go. Omi. Atsu you dummy. Couldn't you have talked to me about it beforehand? I I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about Atsumu. Atsumu's eyes widen at the sound of his full name being used. Ugh. I can't get used to saying that. Atsu. Listen carefully. I don't think there's anything you need to say to me, Atsumu. The only one I love and feel comfortable around is you. There's no she included in this. She forced herself onto me and I was so disgusted after that. But then again she's not even important in the least compared to you. You are my world. It's my fault you're like this. If wasn't like this you could have a more normal relationship. Stupid don't say that I love all of you okay. You still love me right so stay with me. Don't ever talk about breaking up again okay. But if I, you are my happiness, you're an idiot for not seeing that, you're so mean Omi. Atsumu's eyes were full of tears but he had a small smile on his face, call me that again. No, Atsu, don't pout, it's not going to work. Fine, Sakusa releases his arms from around Atsumu and start to head into Atsumu's room. Atsumu let out a whine and followed Sakusa in. Are you sure you want to be in here Omi I haven't cleaned anything yet. Sakusa sits down and grabs Atsumu by his waist, pulling him into his lap. It's okay I'll be fine. Just let me relax a little. I've been spending the last few hours trying to find out what was wrong with you. Sorry, and you didn't even open my messages. That was so mean of you. I thought it that my decision would waver if I had any form of contact with you. But I was surprised that you came into the house and completely forgot about it. Sakusa was silent for a moment. Do I hurt you Atsu? No. Why would you? So my lack of ability to cope with germs doesn't affect you. It does sometimes but that makes you you isn't it? 
I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. Please tell me when I do. Yes, Omi. All of a sudden, the door was busted open. Why are y'all having sex? Thank you for watching. I promise I'll make better content soon but my exams start this Thursday so we'll see how that works out by.